The Cell Explorer's workshops focus on biology. Biology is the study of living things, plants, animals, fungi, bacteria. All living things look different, but they have one thing in common. They are all made of cells. A cell is the smallest unit of life. Humans, like all living things, are also made of cells. Can anyone guess how many cells are in a human body? Our body is actually made up of 100 trillion cells. This is 1 million million cells. So, do you think cells are very small or very big? Yes, that's right. Cells are very small. If you were the size of Europe, a cell would be the size of a football pitch. Most cells are so small we cannot see them with our naked eye. Instead, we need a special instrument called a microscope to be able to see them. These are red blood cells seen under a microscope, one of the smallest types of cell in our body. One single drop of blood contains up to 250 million cells. Cells look very different depending on their job. There are 200 different types of cells, which make up different parts of your body. Heart cells, bone cells, fat cells, brain cells, or blood cells. These are neurons. These cells are elongated so that they can carry messages around the body, to and from the brain. They send these messages to each other through little extensions they have on each side of the cell. Cells have their own life cycle. They die and regenerate constantly. Each day, 20 billion cells of your body die, but they are replaced by new ones. Every second, approximately 20 million new cells are produced. For example, the cells that make up our skin grow and die over a period of 27 days. Skin cells are formed in the deepest layer of our skin. As the new skin cells grow and mature, they travel to the top layer of your skin. Here they die and form a dead layer that protects the newly developing skin cells underneath. Now, let's have a closer look at how a cell is organised. You can think of it as a water balloon. Each cell is surrounded by a layer called the cell membrane that helps to keep everything inside and controls what leaves and enters the cell. Inside the cell there is a liquid that looks a bit like jelly. This is called cytoplasm. Floating around in the cytoplasm are lots of little parts that all have different jobs that help the cell to work. A very important part is the one that controls the cell. It is called the nucleus. You can think of it like the brain of the cell. Inside the nucleus is where a very important molecule is stored, DNA. The full name of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, but scientists use DNA for short. Its full name describes the different chemicals that make up DNA. DNA is neatly packaged by being coiled up very tightly inside the nucleus. If you were to take all of the DNA from one cell and unravel it, it would be very thin and very long, 1.8 meters. But why is there DNA in every cell? DNA is like an instruction book for building living things. It contains instructions that tell cells what to make, how to grow and how to multiply. So banana DNA is the instruction book that tells banana tree cells to become a banana tree and grow bananas. And human DNA has instructions that tell cells how to make a human being, one that looks like us. DNA contains the instructions that control what humans look like. What kind of things do you think it controls? DNA determines many aspects of how we look. It controls our eye colour, hair colour, skin colour, the shape of our face, whether we have dimples or not, and it can also affect our height, whether we grow to be very tall or not so tall. Half of your DNA comes from your mother, and the other half from your father. But you might have brothers and sisters that look a bit different than you do. That is because everybody's DNA is unique. Everybody's DNA is different. There is one exception though. Can you think of what that case might be? Do you know any twins? 
identical twins or triplets have the same DNA. This is because the twins or triplets come from the same first cell. They share the same DNA and therefore look identical to each other. But identical twins are not identical people. Some things are not determined by your DNA. What you like and dislike or how you think, feel and act. This is influenced by your friends, your family, where you grew up, your experiences and your culture. Even though our DNA does not control what kind of person we are, it does control how cells work and do their jobs. Because of this, research on DNA is very important and a big field of science. Researchers around the world study DNA to help us understand more how living things work. But that story is for another time.